I mean, that's the, the irony on these, these wars on fictional things, the war on drugs, the war on terror. Without an identified enemy, you're starting a war with the knowledge that it can never end. There's, the, there's never an end. The war on drugs isn't a war on drugs. We don't have a war on drugs. We need drugs in this country. We have drugs on prescription. We have drugs on sale in shops. We have drugs on sale in bars. We embrace drugs in the UK. Therefore, the war on drugs is ludicrous because it's one that can never be won. It always seems that the wars on entities rather than individuals or whatever else are at many times there to be used for other means, used to get another law through, used to get that. So, well, here's our problem. So we need, that means we need to force this through or we need to do that. And again, the war on terror is an easy example with invading countries that were nothing to do with certain attacks and stuff like that. And the war on drugs is, is the same. It's trying to sneak through things now, like apparently the recent change that it's now illegal to alter your mind with any substance that isn't on their list. Therefore, it's, it's this bizarre thing of, it's not even saying that this is illegal, it's saying anything's illegal other than these, which that's so backwards. That's such a backwards way of saying, here's the five legal things. What if, what, that's, that's bizarre.